Hello, Cancer. Welcome to your guided messages. This is for the sun, moon, and rising sign of Cancer. Three guided messages to help you end November rolling into December that will benefit you in the month of January and all the way over the next six months. So we're going to pull a card for each of these messages. The first one is right on the top of the deck. I hope you guys are doing well and those of you who are celebrating the holidays that you have a wonderful, delightful time. Even if you're alone, make it be what you want it to be. So we have the first message for the sun, moon, rising, and even Venus, okay? If it has to do with love, I'll bring that up. But we have the nine of swords and you're being guided to reduce the stress that is around you. Reduce the environmental, uh, they're saying affiliations that have to do with your environment. These are people, places, things that you go that bring on a lot of stress. Now that may not be an easy thing to do and we're going to look at it a little bit closer. However, you are being guided to sleep better. Your sleep is the number one most important thing over the next three dash four weeks as we end this year. So let's take a look at the additional message with this. We have the Ten of Pentacles. And so when I'm being guided to tell you to reduce the stress, that can be anxiety, that can be fear of getting together with the family with this Ten of Pentacles. And for a lot of you, this is about your own security. And let's face it, a lot of people are a little bit concerned right now because things are changing and it's changing rapidly. When things go super fast, it makes it difficult for us to grasp on to what's going on. So with the speed of everything that's happening around you, it may be intimidating you a little bit to remain in your true, beautiful, cancering self. You're being guided to pay very close attention to your family. You have security all around you. Even if you're alone, this security is coming from an internal part of you where you are in balance and you are able to make this happen for yourself. So that is number one. Number two, we have the card of the moon. This is secrets and that may have something to do with this stress that you're dealing with. However, I feel for a lot of you, this is the energy vibrations of what's going on right now with the planetary shifts, Cancer. Some of you have felt this pulling where you feel tired, you feel exhausted, and now you may be feeling a little bit of hope, a little bit of reinstilled uh, energy vibration coming through. If you haven't at this point in time, because I am recording this, the end of November, and it is meant for the end of November, the very last week of November, rolling into the first week of December primarily. In this week, it is important for you to pay very close attention to your mind, your thoughts, to your physical body and what it's doing, and your spirit, your soul. Go deep within. They're saying touch on a part of you that you forgot about. That may have something to do with uh, an old hobby that you used to do that will help you reduce your anxiety and stress. It may have to do with your job, with your dreams. If you have a dream that you've been wanting, it's time for you to actually take action. And it doesn't mean, uh, you know, if you're starting a business, you put everything all up in front at one moment. It means you take that step forward where you start to implant it into the universe. If you've already done that here in the human world, it's time to take another step. All of this is going to help you feel more secure as you go forward. So pay very close attention to the energy vibrations of the shifting that's going on. If you'd like to hear more about that, you can subscribe to my newsletter and I'm putting out a blog that's going to talk about the energy shifts and so, so much more for each zodiac sign. Nine of Pentacles is independent and free, and it could have something definitely to do with those of you who are teacher. If you're a parent, you're a teacher. If you're a grandparent, you teach. You teach your grandchildren. You teach people around you. If you're a leader in the business industry, if that can be a crew leader, a team captain, uh, a manager, you are a, a model for other people around you. The number one teacher is yourself. You're teaching yourself how to follow the planets, 
how to feel the energy vibration inside of you to help you make big, huge transitions. 2023 is going to bring in some incredible moments where people are going to make big leaps of faith. And I feel for a lot of cancers, you guys are definitely in there. Uh, and you are going to make a difference in your own reality where you feel secure. Nine of Pentacles is freedom. This is feeling like I have enough, but yet I want that one more pentacle. So if you've been putting, uh, investing in yourself, investing in education, a career avenue, a change, or even a romantic relationship, you may be wondering, will that 10th pentacle come in? And they're saying it is already around you. You just may not see it in today's moment, but the energy is bringing it into you. So the Nine of Pentacles is a wonderful feeling, and this is liberation. This is the ability to move forward. Remember who you are. Remember how you have already overcome things that have stressed you out in the past, and it's time for you to literally pull yourself up and make the change, make the effort, and go in a brand new direction, even if it's one step forward. So the third message we have for you is the Ten of Wands. And the Ten of Wands is saying this is a lot of burden. And a lot of you, I feel, um, you know, with this card, this has to do with your financial sector, with the weight of the world being on your shoulders. And I don't mean the world literally. I mean your world, your life, what's going on in your, in your own um, home for career. What they're telling me is some of you have taken on a lot more responsibility than you should have. You know it. You're feeling it. It's keeping you up at night where you're, you're just wondering, asking, asking the universe, looking up at the stars, saying, is, is anything going to change? Is it going to turn in my favor? You don't want to handle this anymore, and they are answering you over this next week. Look for the signs, the synchronicities, and I feel for some of you, it is <laughs> sounds ironic, but I'm seeing leaves everywhere. That's why I giggled, because in the... In, uh, in the U.S., the leaves are everywhere, right? <laughs> They're all over the place because it's fall season, so the leaves have fallen. When the leaves have fallen, that gives us an opportunity to wipe the slate clean. And that's what this guidance is saying. Wipe the slate clean and allow yourself to turn this Ten of Wands into the Ace of Wands, where you have this amazing passion return back to you. Your sensuality returns back. You feel good again. And that is what is taking place with the energy shifts. So please read my email in my newsletter. I think you're really going to like what it says for the sign of cancer. So the last message, uh, additional detail here is the death card. Now it came in reverse, all right? So this is talking about transformation. Now, with transformation and an ending to an old cycle, which is what I just talked about, and you guys can clearly see that my messages come from elsewhere, not from the cards. The cards follow my message. So they're saying it is time for you to release this burden, to end whatever you're dealing with that is putting all this stress on you. However, you may have been blocked. You may have been feeling stuck. There's something or someone around you that has been blocking you. So in this particular situation, Cancer, if you've been feeling like you don't know the next move, if you're fighting against a, a system, a cycle that doesn't seem to want to let you go, they're telling you to look beyond where you're at today and follow your intuition. You can clearly, you can book a reading with me. They are all on sale right now, but this is your moment. However you choose to do it, it is your time over this next week to wipe your slate clean and start fresh as you move into the end of the year. So I'm going to pull a little bit more detail and then I'll pull a beyond card for you as well. Now, when it comes to family, I feel some of you, you have an apology coming in with this page of pentacles. This is an offer, an opportunity that is really going to help you feel back in balance in your own life. And when I say balance, I mean taking that nine of pentacles where you're feeling good, where you're feeling enlightened and moving it into the 10, it's totally secure in your romantic relationship, in your family, your friends. Even if you don't have any family or friends around you, you have a lot of people 
you can subscribe to my newsletter and I have a group of people there waiting to talk to like-minded individuals and it's free. So you have an offer, an opportunity that's going to create abundance. But most importantly, when it comes to family, you have somebody going to give you an apology. Now, it can be the Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energies, okay? It can be those zodiac signs, but it can be anybody that you've been dealing with that has put a lot of burden and stress on you, where you're worried about them, you're worried about their health, you're worried about their finances, or equally, you're wondering, do they even think of you? This apology is coming into the sign of cancer. Now, there are a few of you where you'll be reaching out to someone else, but I'm being guided to say this is coming into the sign of cancer. Now, it may be coming from a queen of cups. This is representing a cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, and we are talking about you. So with this is this beautiful energy of feeling like yourself again. And it's above the moon card. Remember, that's the overall guided message for you, Cancer, where this energy shift is going to help you feel like yourself again, where you are ready. You're ready for that new thing. You want to fall in love with your career. You want to fall in love with a new project, a new hobby. You want love again, self-love, love in everything around you from the plants that you nurture inside your home to all of the people that you have included in your life at this point in time. Open your heart. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Open your heart and allow this to come through because it is getting ready to come through for you very, very quickly. And you're going to see it. And the last message we have for you is this beautiful chariot. It's time for you to move past whatever you feel has been blocking you. If you've been blocked by a family member, particularly a parent, a grandparent, somebody you view an authoritative type of a, a position in your family or friend, somebody I feel who's been telling you, you don't want to do that. You don't want to go that direction. What are you doing? You cray cray? And you're saying, no, that's my dream. That's what I want to do. Follow your own intuition. Follow your own guidance. This chariot is moving into something amazing. A major arcana card in the tarot itself is a big deal. It's a big deal because that is representing the divine feminine within and the divine masculine within. Your logic and your emotions are in balance, so you're getting ready to move into a brand new direction that is going to pay off. It is going to be worth it. It is going to be feeling so secure and independent and free in the decision that you actually made. So, Cancers, I hope that this helps you over the next uh, one to four weeks throughout the end of the year for some of you, and I wish you all the best. Much love.